got any money. Do you take IOUs? I'd rather you give me a prize. I seem to insult people when I give offers. <laughs> My dad came by earlier and said he bought something. He bought more than a little something. Am I too early? Nope. Come on in. Alright, thank you. Just something I can't live without. Oh. Those are all priced at two bucks. I'll take them. I told you we should have went for five. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? A video game thing? It is. This connection on it, but if you have the HDMI, if you have the HDMI cable, it's That's already. That's cool. I'll ready. buy that. I'll leave it there and I'll probably find something else, but I'll definitely buy it. Yeah. Alright. Sure. Yeah, our kids love this when they were when they were little to Yeah. All right, I owe you 11. Got any money? <laughs> do you but take IOUs? We, we do, but they don't work very good. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to get those Apple tags and right. track you down. Thank you Thank very you. much. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Doing great. Did you never use this? Yep. <laughs> I'll take it. I don't know how we ended up with servo. <laughs> there you go. I appreciate it. Thanks. Good luck with the sale. Thanks. Morning. What's up? Not much about you. Not what? You look familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got a couple of switch games right here. Oh, cool. I would say I mean, the, the Super Mario Odyssey is like 30. On you, Ben? How much is your football helmet? He just didn't, it's just up through it. Gotcha. Um, I'll give you 20 for it. Perfect. Did he have a, a price he's wanting for the Switch games? Um, so he said, when he, he, when he looked him up on eBay, he said this one was worth like 30 and these two are worth 20. So what would you be asking for him? And then he left. <laughs> um, you want all three? Yeah. What would you what would you offer for all of it? I'd rather you give me a prize. I seem to insult people when I give offers. <laughs> How much are the Pokemon cards? Do you have a price on those? <sighs> See, he keeps leaving me and I don't know what he wants for stuff. Um let me I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Um I'm, I'm not in a hurry, I'll swing back around. Okay, Thanks. I appreciate no it. No problem. Morning. morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? How much is your uh, VCR? Uh, I'll do 10. There you go. It hasn't been tested recently, but it did work in the manuals with it. Okay. Remote with it, so. I appreciate it. Yeah. Good luck with the sale. Oh, thanks. Morning. How much are your truck shoes? Um, I don't know, five bucks? Sure, I'll do that. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank Good luck you. with the sale. Thank you. Morning. Morning. My dad came by earlier and said he bought something. Are you John? That's me, yeah. bought more than a little something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what'd he get? The car. <laughs> yeah, I, I got my uh, forerunner with me. I put it in here to oh, get okay. something out of the way. This is everything he bought. The stereo system, the full box, and the air fryer. Holy crap. Yeah, he, he bought a lot. All right, let me, um, I think I'll back up if that's okay, just to make it easier. Back at the house, and it was another great garage sale day. Uh, when we hit this really big neighborhood, my dad had this idea like, hey, you start at one end of the neighborhood, I'll start at the other end. And it worked out wonderfully. There was a handful of times where he was like, hey, I bought something, go pick it up. And it was just great. He doesn't resell that much, but he's always out and about looking for stuff for me to resell, which I greatly appreciate. So the things I found, I got this big uh, Mickey Mouse um, arcade one-up machine. Um, this thing right here is the actual joystick. So you move this like back and forth and you press the buttons and stuff. I couldn't find any soul comps on this thing. They made a, a Pac-Man version too. Um, I paid five for this. I'm hoping to get maybe 50 bucks. I really don't know. It's gonna be hard to find uh, you know, what it's worth. And I might just try to flip it locally because this thing's pretty big. I don't know, we'll see. Got this football helmet for 20 bucks. Actually, uh, this sale, dad was already at and he was like talking to him about the Switch games and I kind of started talking to him about the Pokemon cards. They didn't really seem to know what they wanted for the stuff, so. I'm like, you know what, don't worry about it, it's not a big deal. But they gave me a price of $20 on the helmet, so I went ahead and bought it. This is a uh, Rydell, let's see, I saw the model on here somewhere, and now I can't seem to find it. Victor, Rydell Victor helmet. Uh, these are going used between like $60 and $100, so I was thrilled to buy that. Football helmets sell, even the vintage ones, people like to take off the decals and paint them and refinish them and put whatever, you know, NFL team or college team that they like on there. If you can get helmets for a good price, pick, pick them up. Uh, and if they're newer like this, um, some people actually um, recondition them and recertify them so they can actually be used in games. Uh, let's see. I got this uh, KitchenAid uh, edge beater for 5 That's going for about 25 I got some baseball bats at one sale for $2 each. I was all over that. Um, I wanted to point this out. This has a lot of uh, paint chipping going on, uh, but these are not denser cracks. Um, if a bat has... A crack in it or dents in it it's pretty much useless i will put a link uh down below in the description i made a video about seven years ago about how to spot cracks in bats so uh watch that that way if you're out and about if you spot a crack you'll know not to buy it uh but yeah these are good bats uh this is a d marini composite uh what is this cfs or cf5 it's always hard to read d marini stuff this is about a 40 or 50 dollar bat um, this Easton S400, this is just an aluminum bat, probably nothing super special, 15 or 20 bucks. Uh, this is the S6000 Easton. Um, I believe this one's composite. You can tell because like it's got this little like rubber connector right here. This is all one piece aluminum, but it's like a, it's a smaller uh, barrel. It's a minus 12. So that's probably like a $25 bat. Dad found a PlayStation 3 in one sale with a whole bunch of games and stuff. I can't remember what he paid, uh, but that's always a good find. I got this Samsung, um, VCR DVD recorder with the remote and manual for 10. If it's working, that's 120 bucks pretty easily. Dad got at one sale this uh, Craftsman toolbox, this uh, Ninja air fryer, and a whole bunch of speakers for $30. That sale I showed up to, and he just kept lugging stuff out. Um, Dad got all that for 30. He also got this uh, 11 Funko Pop. Looks like it kind of got smashed in the side a little bit. I can't remember what he paid for that. I got some track shoes at one sale for five bucks. Those will go for about 20. Here is the box of like DVDs and video games dad got along with the PS3. Again, I can't remember what he paid, uh, but there's a good variety of stuff in here. This is some kind of like Wii dongle for something. Um, PlayStation controllers, Wii Sports, that's always a good sale. And then, yeah, lots and lots of games. And then here is the stereo equipment dad got. He got this huge Bose subwoofer, um, all these Bose cube speakers, and that Denon receiver. All in all, another fantastic day at the yard sales. Good to know the old man still got it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.